I'm Bill Faulkner. Welcome to this presentation on MRI safety. This presentation is specifically for MRI personnel designated as level one. All the information in this video, at least the majority of it, comes from the ACR Safe Practice Guidelines. Now the ACR Safe Practice Guidelines were originally published in 2002. And over time, they've been revised. The most recent revision is 2013. And the ACR guidelines are now what has become the de facto industry standard as it relates to MRI safety. So again, we're going to take a look at these guidelines and see how we can apply these guidelines to our current clinical practices in MR. Now, the ACR guidelines specifically talk about two types of personnel. They also refer to things called safety zones. So what we're going to look at, at least in the first part of this video, is this terminology as it relates to MRI personnel and the safety zones. And all of this is extremely important to protect not only those personnel that are working in MRI, but also most importantly, our patients. So some of the terminology that you'll hear, let's talk about an MR medical director. According to the ACR, Safe Practice Guidelines, they state that each site shall name a medical director or will name a medical director. And this medical director's responsibilities will include ensuring that MR safe practice guidelines are established and they are maintained as current and appropriate for the site. So one of your radiologists or supervising physicians has been named as an MR medical director. Now, if your facility has not named a medical director, heaven forbid you have a safety incident attorneys will seek out who is functioning as a medical director. So even though somebody is not necessarily named, somebody is functioning as an MR medical